All right, guys, grab your papers and pencils. Get ready to practice a math assessment. I'm going to give you one minute to try the problem on your own. Then I'm going to go through it. Your minute starts now. Charlene has a special brownie recipe. She needs two and two-fifths cups of sugar and one and one-twelfths of sh cups of sugar for the icing. How much sugar does she need in all? Essentially, we are adding these two numbers together. A shortcut is if I take the whole number part of that, one and two and add those together one plus two equals three so we're gonna need at least three and then the fraction that goes with it I can eliminate choices A and B because they're not at least three cups then I'm just adding the fractions we have one twelfth plus two fifths to add fractions you have to have a common denominator in this case it's 60 to turn it into 60th we put 1 times 5 and 12 times 5 2 times 12 and 5 times 12 which gives us 5 60th plus 24 60th or 29 over 60 which matches our answer here, 3 and 29 sixtieths. Try question 2. You have 60 seconds starting now. Looking at the four different statements, actually three different statements here, we need to find out which one's not true, uh, or true, I'm sorry. Um, in order to do that, we have to get these to equal or equivalent fractions. What I mean by that is they need to both be fractions and they need to have the same denominator. To turn this 0 .04 into a fraction, it really is saying 4 over 100. So actually, I'm going to put that 4 over 100 right down here. To turn 11 25ths into something with the same denominator as this one, we multiply the top and bottom by 4, giving us 44 over 100. Now, if we read that statement, 44 hundredths is less than 4 one hundredths, you would clearly say, no, this is not true, so A is out. We need to do the same strategy here, kind of working a little more quickly, 13 over 100, 
and then this we take times 5 times 5 we get 10 over 100 is 10 over 100 greater than 13 over 100 no so we've eliminated two choices here six percent if you don't know is actually six out of 100 to get this to the hundredths we take it times two times two we get six over 100 equals hey look at that we found our choice question three I accidentally hit the timer so you have 51 seconds left to solve this problem Alright, Mr. Scott spent $39.25 on basketball cards. He purchased four packs. This is a unit rate problem. If we write this as a fraction, $39.25 or $39.25 per four packages, how much did he spend? Was well, it between 6 and 7, 7 and 8, 8 and 9, 9 and 10? The fastest way to get to this is use estimation. If I instead say well that's close to forty dollars for four packs that I could quickly deduce is ten dollars per one pack the reason I did that is because it's hard to divide thirty nine point two five divided by four in your head but forty divided by four is easy so it's about ten dollars a pack a little bit less so we look at these choices. Well, it's clearly not between 6 and 7. It's not 7 and 8. And it's not 8 and 9. It's definitely going to fall in the range of $9 and $10. Actually closer to $10 as we found. All right, problem four. Here we go, 60 seconds. Alright, if I had a calculator, I'd just take 4 divided by 50 and I'd be done. Since I don't, I have to convert this to a decimal form. I need to get the bottom or the denominator into the into 100, so I take that times 2, but I also take the top times 2, and that's going to give me 8 over 100, which is equivalent to 0 0.08. Choice is D. All right, question five, here we go.
right, Ms. Stork bought t dinner for 12 people. The cost of the dinner was one twenty six eighty four. What's the average cost of each person's dinner? Now you're going to think of this as a unit rate problem where you have $126.84 per 12 people. Okay. We need to figure out the fastest way to get to the cost. Now you could just divide 126.84 divided by 12, but remember you don't have a calculator. So we're going to use estimation. I'm going to drop this down to $120. And I'm going to divide it by 12. That we can do in our head. We say that's $10 a meal. It's actually going to be slightly more because we forgot to include this $6.84. But if I look at the answers, if it's got to be more than $10, A's out, B's out, C's out, and here's our choice, letter D. Number six, here we go. takes two and three quarter gallons of paint to paint each wall in Ms. Reed's house. If she needs to paint three walls, how much paint will she need? Well, she's going to need three times two and three quarters. We need to figure out three times two and three quarters as quickly as we can. How I would approach this is I take 3 times 2 gives me 6. Then I take 3 times the 3 quarters. Now if I think of that, 3 quarters plus 3 quarters plus 3 quarters, you know, there's several ways you can do this in your head. It gives me 9 fourths or 2 and 1 fourth. Adding these two together, I get eight and a quarter, or choice B. Number seven, here we go. Alright, here we go guys. David waited in lunch line for one half an hour, if you can't see that. Raymond waited for a quarter hour. How much longer did David wait than Raymond? So we need to figure out how to take David's time, one half hour, and subtract Raymond's time of one quarter hour. We need the same denominator, so if I take this times two, what I end up getting is two quarters of an hour minus one quarter of an hour giving me David waited one quarter of an hour longer choice C last question for today number eight ready set go
Jeronica buys four boxes of brownie mix. Each box costs $3.67. What's the best estimate of the total cost of the four boxes? So in other words, we have to take four times $3.67. Now you may have different methods of doing this. Here's the method I would use because we want to get an estimate. I would take 4 times 3, so right there we get $12. Then I would take 4 times 60 cents, which gives me $2.40. And then I would take 4 times 7 cents, which gives me 28 cents. If I add all those together, and I don't even have to add them perfectly, I get $14.68. And what that tells me is that it's between 14 and 15 dollars. Now, there's other ways of doing this. You may have different ways. You could actually round this up to three dollars and seventy cents, and that would give you a pretty good estimate. Um, it kind of depends on how you see those numbers, but estimating we need between 14 and 15 dollars. You just completed eight problems from your math assessment practice. We put you on a timer to illustrate the idea that you only have about one minute to complete these problems. We will see you tomorrow.